right, here we are. Um, we still have no lights. Um, I got a good lens and I got the mic hooked up. So we're just gonna get this rolling and see what happens. What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. My name is Mike Sperando. If you have never seen any of my videos before, I wanna welcome you first and foremost. Please give this video a thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button right below the video before we get into it because I would love for you guys to see my future uploads. Now, the other day I came home and I had a very unexpected surprise in my house. I ordered the iPhone 13 Pro about a week before Halloween and I was informed that they were on a nationwide back order. I wasn't gonna get the phone until December 10th. So I was like, oh my gosh, I just ordered this phone. I'm not gonna have it for a little over a month. Um, crazy thing is today I'm filming this video. It's Saturday, November 13th. I came home, I believe three days ago and I had a box sitting at my door. I go, what is this? So I open it up and it's the iPhone. It came a month prior to when it was expected to come. So you can only imagine I was thrilled. Um, Right away, I went onto the Apple store. I ordered a case right off their website, which I'm actually sporting right now. Um, this is the Apple Red, um, product red silicone case that they have from the App Store. And the iPhone that I got was the iPhone 13 Pro, 256 gigabyte in Sierra Blue. I love the Sierra Blue. It looks incredible. And I can't wait to make more videos on this, just specializing the phone and what it has all to offer. Specializing the phone. I don't think that was a proper sentence. It's been a long time since I've done this, just bear with me. So in this video, we are going to be talking about what is on my brand new iPhone 13 Pro. Now I've made several, several videos in the past about what's on my iPhone, what's on my iPad. I think I did one with what's on my Apple Watch. These are my favorite types of videos to make on YouTube, which I have specified in my other videos as well, just because I like to give you guys a glimpse of what I am working with. And the apps that I have on my phone may be a little bit different from the previous videos, just due to me actually running a business now, Mike Sperando Photo and Video. Um, and um, yeah, I'm excited to share what I use every single day. Hopefully you guys get integrated into your lifestyle as well. And um, yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the video. So if you guys have seen any of my other What's On My iPhone videos, you know the way that we do this. We start at the top left hand corner, go to the right, and then go down from there, and then go page by page. So that is exactly what we're going to do in this video. So starting at the top left hand corner, we have a widget, the weather widget. Now this is crucial for my, the type of business that I'm in um, because my business kind of depends a little bit on the weather. So if the weather's bad, like today, we have a wind advisory and it's raining outside right now. Um, it, I, I kind of got to work with my clients and work with what's going on uh, when it comes to that. But when it's sunny out, we're all good to go. So this weather app has been a lifesaver for me and I use it literally every single day. Next to the uh, weather widget, we do have Safari, Photos, Mail, and Gmail. Now I need to clear something up real quick. I know you guys see 1,644 and I feel like every single what's on my iPhone video video that I watch on YouTube, um, people always have a lot of emails, but I, ha I, have, I have an explanation. <laughs> I, I really do. So 1644, these are, all, these are all my personal emails, but a lot of these are newsletter emails that I just like, if I don't delete them, I'm just leaving them on unread. Like I see them, but I'm just gonna leave them there. I gotta go through this sometime because there's just too many of them at this point. Um, and then Gmail is for my business. I know you see 25 unread emails, but they're not relevant ones. I've, I've answered all the relevant ones. We're good to go. I just got to delete them. We got music. I use Apple Music as my music uh, streaming platform of choice. I love it. I've used it for probably about four or five years now. I use Spotify for one year, but I just realized I fell more in love with Apple. Um, FaceTime, Instagram. I want to go on to Instagram a second and go to my page. If you guys have not yet, please give me a follow. My name is at Mike Sperando. Um, right now, the Temple men's basketball season has just started up, so we have been going crazy with posting content from there. As you guys can see, this is me in the middle of the court right there. Um, so yeah, all good stuff right there, at Mike Sperando, so go check me out, give me a follow, I would really appreciate that. Next to that, we have the Maps app. So I always switch between Apple Maps, Waze, and Google Maps, depending on where I am, how much service I have. One app over the other may work more, uh, but for the most part, I use Apple Maps now. I, I was a Wazer, is that how you pronounce it? I used to use Waze all the time, but um, I've just became more accustomed to Apple Maps now. We got podcasts. Some of my favorite podcasts that I listen to, I listen to The Dave Ramsey Show, Ben Baller, Sal and Chris, they're, they're um, what was it? Sal is from Impractical Jokers, and Chris DeStefano is a comedian, so it's a, it's an awesome podcast. 
Big Money Energy with Ryan Sarhan and Views with David Dobrik. Um, my fitness pal, I, I, there was a point where I was tracking everything that I was doing and then my lifestyle just became too crazy and I, I realized that um, I need to get back into it because <laughs> I put on some weight. Uh, Wells Fargo, my bank of choice, work. So this is the folder that may be different from what you guys have seen before. We got Facebook, Business Suite, Miles IQ, Dropbox, my website that I made a little app for so it's easy to access when I'm in homes with clients, Venmo, Messenger, Kubi Casa, and my business. So let me break down the apps that you probably don't know what they are. Business Suite is how I can schedule posts to my business page on Facebook so people can see everything that's going on with my business and I can just share everything and schedule stuff. So it's been very helpful with that. Miles IQ tracks everywhere that I go. Um, and that's more so tracking my miles for business purposes um, at the end of the year. Dropbox, you guys know what that is. Website, it's literally just my website with all of the work that I've done. Venmo, well, self-explanatory. Messenger, Kubi Casa, um, it's a great app for um, what I do in my business. Um, my business, this is where I look at all my reviews. Um, so that's pretty dope. Um, on Google, my, all my reviews on Google, I'm sorry. DJI Fly, Ronin, QuickBooks, Astroom, and Sheets. DJI Fly and Ronin are both for my, my drone and my stabilizer from DJI. I have a DJI Mavic Mini 2 and a Ronin S. I love both of them. QuickBooks, where I do all my, my financial stuff, my, my accountant and all that good stuff. Um, Astroom is where I do my 3D virtual tours. And Google Sheets is where I have some just information for my business. Um, Unfold, YouTube, TikTok, and food. Unfold is a cool like Instagram thing where you have like um, different layouts that you can put your photos in. YouTube, TikTok, and food. So these are some of the restaurants that I go to all the time. You guys may or may not recognize some of these restaurants. Starbucks, Panera Bread, Chipotle, Chick-fil-A, and Honeygrow. I think the only ones you may not recognize is Honeygrow if you're not from, I guess, like the Philly area. Um, but all these other ones are pretty good. Um, I usually order ahead. That's why I have them on my phone. Books. I listen to a lot of audiobooks. So if we get into this a second and go to all the books, I'm currently listening to, um, Logic, Bobby Hall's, um, memoir. I just finished up Russ, Yusuf Adekat, um, Tim Grover, Jen Atkins. So these are all audiobooks I listen to. I love listening to audiobooks. Sometimes you need a break from all the music in the car. So the audiobooks is a good move. The score, I stay up to date with my teams. FanDuel, I love, love, love sports betting, seeing all the seeing all the wagers and all that stuff. eBay, um, I've been getting into sports cards recently. I don't have any of the good ones in front of me. Um, these, these are just some. But um, yeah, I've been getting into sports cards lately. So that's, uh, that's been a nice side, side hobby I've been doing. All right. Let's see what I could do here. So these are all the Apple default apps um, for the most part. Let's see. I don't really have to go over. The only app I do want to touch on is Retouch. Retouch is good because if you need to move, remove something from a photo, you could easily do that. Um, Retouch has been very helpful with a lot of the things that I've been doing. If, if someone's in the background on my photo, I could just literally erase them and Photoshop them out super quick. From my remembering, I think the app was like 10 bucks. It was either five or 10 bucks. I don't remember. Um, travel. Hotels.com, Oceans AC, Meter Up. So Meter Up, Park Mobile, and Passport that you guys see here are all parking apps because um, everything's going electronic now. A lot of the parking spots around me, like you can't put the coins in anymore, which is kind of like annoying because then you got to go on your phone and do it, but I guess it's easier. Um, what else we got? Settings, auto sleep. So I track my sleep through this. As you guys can see, I didn't really sleep well last night. <laughs> <laughs> um, I did get two hours out of five hours of deep sleep, but still to me, that's, you should be getting seven to eight hours a night, but I didn't last night. Snapchat, we got two Snapchats. Anchor is where I do my podcast, which I haven't really been doing lately. Clear, um, I went to the Made in America festival late, uh, recently in September and we had to put like all our COVID information on here to get in. What else can I go over on here? I don't want to go over every app. Um, ba -ba -ba. Wawa is a, um, convenience store or like a little food grocery market on the East coast, specifically in Philly, Philly, Jersey, I think Maryland, Florida has a couple, 
They're only in a couple states, but it's my favorite store to go to, and I need to stop going to it because their milkshakes are incredible, and that's literally all I drink. Um, fantasy football. I think we're – are we winning this week? Let's check. I don't know if I'm winning. The better question is, is it going to load down here? Because I'm in my basement right now, and I don't know if it's going to load. Oh, I got to sign in. I just got my new phone, so I got to sign into that. So we'll check that out later, but I'm probably going to win this week. So if you're in my Pickums League, get ready to send some of the money on Venmo. <laughs> um, open table. Open table is where I reserve tables if I'm going out to dinner, and I know there's going to be a wait. Twitter, uh, Pixel Cut. Mm, PSA cert. So this is where I could check like the certifications for the cards. So like hypothetically, if I wanted to get this, um, this Jada McDaniels card rated rookie graded, I could see how much it's going to be and what it's going for. If I were to get it graded, um, I'm just like, I've been coming, I've been coming like a low key geek when it comes to like these sports cards and stuff. But, um, what else do we have here? Bookmarks. These are all places that like, I eventually want to go with my girlfriend um, Twins Farms, Vermont, it, just look it up. It's incredible. The rooms are beautiful. The cottages are incredible. Bear Creek and Poconos Resort. So I just have them saved just so like down the line, like we can pick a place to go to. Um, StubHub, Stream, Under Armour, Class Harlan, LinkedIn, blah, 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 blah. So for the most part, oh, and my background's me, <laughs> of course. <laughs> All right, everyone, that's going to wrap up what's on my iPhone 13 Pro. If you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, or even want to let me know what apps you guys are using mostly on your phones, please let me know in the comments box below. Um, give this video a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button right below this video. Um, I have a lot more videos coming. I'm trying to think about what I want to make videos on. Um, again, I just got the brand new iPhone 13 Pro. Um, so I'm going to be probably making a video on the case. I know you guys like those videos, just talking about like the case that I'm rocking and why I rock it and how much it was and all the stuff about it. So expect a video on that probably coming very soon. Um, I'm probably going to do a, um, a, a video on my Apple Watch Series 7 stainless steel, probably like um, after one month of using it. So there's a lot of stuff coming up. I have a lot of stuff in the works and I want you guys to be here for it and, and witness it because it's going to be good stuff and I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. Uh, so again, give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button right below this video and I will see you next time. And until the next time, I gotta think of another outro because I don't know, every time I come back to YouTube, I always like think of a different outro and I don't know what to do this time. So we're just gonna say bye. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. I need to think of something. I really do. I'm always changing on my outro. All right. Bye. <laughs>